Uh, right. I want to do Clinker's Cavern before I go to the next note door. Hey! And now he finally teaches me how to place all the pieces. Like, even though I've played this a million times, you can't do it until Bottle tells you you can. It's so fun. Clinker's Cavern. In case anyone was wondering why I'm playing this, it's because this is my favorite game. So of course if I'm going to do a stream, the first game I'm streaming is going to be Banjo-Kazooie because it's my favorite. Can I make it? No, I gotta do... Gotta do a backflip. I'm not going to check my times. Because I feel like that'll get annoying, checking my time like every single time I beat a level. And I know that doesn't go against the playtime when I'm in the menus, but as like a viewer experience, I just want to just get this train going. And let's just hit this too, because I gotta... In order to unlock Bubble Goop Swamp. Bubble Goop Swamp. Clanker's Cavern. I've always wondered, can I reach the top? If I nope, can't. Gotta come back. All right. Uh, since I have to come back up this ladder when I come back to complete the level, I'm just gonna grab these notes real quick, and then when I come back, I'll go the other way to grab the last of the notes and the Jinjo. Last time I played this, I didn't do that, and I'm now remembering to do it this time. Hey, a whole level surrounded by swimming. My favorite. As a kid, Clinker scared me so much. Hey, Clinker. Um. All right. Usually, I I free Clinker first thing I do. Just to open up more of the world. I should have dropped closer. Hopefully I'm in a good spot where Gloop is like perfectly aligned with the way I enter the level so I don't have to like constantly try to catch up with Gloop. And he's behind me, isn't he? Uh, let's grab the notes first. Oh, I say that and I immediately, I, I was like second guessing myself. Oh. And I miss it again. And this is after me. This is while I know I can turn better with the bumpers. It's just... I love swimming. Also, I need to grab a bloody bubble. There we go. I'll grab another one just to be safe. Because as soon as I'm out of air, I'm out. Alright, let's grab this... Oh, come on, I was right there. You know what, let's just grab you. Yeah, you. I see ya. Uh, music note. Here we go. Let's just unlock this. One. Two. Quick U-turn. And three. I should have enough to hopefully the air doesn't count down during this cutscene. Because I'm just I'm just going to gun for the surface and hopefully I have enough air to do so. I sure hope so. Alright. Usually, I want to do all the stuff in the water first and then do everything on the surface last. So I'm going to grab all these notes and go through all these tunnels first before I go through Clanker and get everything on the outside. Even though having invincibility would make this section a lot easier, I'm just like, whatever. I'll save my invincibility feathers, or my gold feathers, for a different occasion. The mutated snippets. 
Pacific Mutants, I was close. It's pretty much... I, I was rolling, sir. That's not fair. Give me your honey cones, please. These guys are much easier than the black and red snippet from the, uh, from the sandcastle. Give me your jiggy. I demand. I demand it. I'm gonna tell Banjo no. Can I miss that again? Like I said, no mistakes. I'm not gonna make a single mistake. I am the Banjo Kazooie master, I swear. I could play this a million times, and I probably still will never get any better than I am now. I will probably make the same mistakes. I know for a fact I will. Nah, no, I just want the notes, please. I don't need many gold feathers. Except for sections where I'm required to do so. Let's grab these notes. There's no tunnels on this side of the level, so I'm just gonna go straight to the other side. Let's catch some air real quick. Glad I went to the bathroom before recording, so I don't have to, I shouldn't have to take any breaks. Oh. Hey, Momo Token, let's go. Let's go. I was playing Banjo Tooie recently, and the way that they changed the swimming controls for when you are the torpedo kazooie and they just change it on you for no reason. Where it's like, because they invert it where if you, uh, you aim down to swim, uh, you aim the control stick forward to swim down and you hold it back to swim up, which makes sense. But whenever, whenever you're playing the, uh, whenever you're, oh, what's it called? I don't know the specific move, but when you use uh, cuz oh, my train of thought when you use Kazooie in the torpedo mode they switch the swimming controls to not be inverted so it's so confusing cuz you're like trying to swim down so you move the control stick forward but Kazooie goes up and they do the same thing with the flight controls cuz in this game yeah it's like a plane you hold the control stick forward to go down and you hold it back to go up like you're flying a plane. I think I usually do everything in clinker last. Uh, let's just do this one here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this stuff on the outside and then I'll do clinker last. I think that's how I'll do this. I just need to come up with a plan and stick with it. No, do not second guess myself. That is a no-no. Okay, I was like, is this the the pipe with the honeycomb piece underneath? And I'm like, no, it's not. It's the other side. I sure hope it's the other side. <laughs> Otherwise, my memory of this game is not as uh, great as it used to be. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Speaking of uh, mem bad memory, I guess, yeah, the honeycomb piece was on the side I was just on. So, I mean, I'll probably run back when I have to do it. What was that? <laughs> I swear I did not push left. I got pushed by some invisible force. I swear there was a wall pushing me off the side. Uh, I, I don't... As I was holding forward, and for some reason Banjo just wanted to fall off the side of the pipe for no reason. I'm like, thanks, Banjo. Oh, I should have grabbed those feathers. Can I, can I grab a feather? Yeah, I can. Because I can't ignore all of them. I'm just going to grab the honeycomb piece real quick. I mean, I was just there, and I was just saying, like, oh, yes, I, I know this game left, right, and center. Just so confident. 
As a kid, I never was able to find that honeycomb piece because it's just so well hidden. Also, this was the side where I had to jump. Oh, oh gosh. Hold on, I gotta jump left. That's right. I was just forgetting which side this part was on. If it was on the right side of the level or the left side of the level. Grab a Jinjo. Save the Jinjo, save the world. Oh gosh, I almost forgot to not talent try. If I slid off and had to come back up here again, I would have been so upset. There we go. Now I should be now all I should have to do is jump off the back of Clanker, Clanker's tail, and that should be the rest of them. Oh, and also ride the, uh, ride the thing to the top. But I'll do that last, right? Because when I, because when I grab the last jiggy up there, I'll be right above the exit or the entrance. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Uh, come on, there we go. Also, as a kid, I never thought to uh, shoot that with my eggs. Because again, when you're a kid, kind of stupid. Or at least, as a kid, I was stupid. It's like, no, I'm sure there are plenty of smart kids. I was just not one of them. I'm saying that as if I've gotten, like, better. I like to think I've gotten better at video games, you know. I mean, I've played quite a few of my time. Alright, I'm just gonna do the clinker stuff now. I believe this is the side with the jiggy. Oh, please. Nope. Can I hit all three in a row? A Master Pro. There we go. Please be the Jiggy. It is not. It is a Momo token. This side's the Jiggy. Of course it is. There we go. All three. Let's go. There's the Jiggy. There's the beauty. There we go. Oh boy. Uh, don't flip over. I need to kill you first. I'm definitely not getting any awards for uh, time. Uh, I feel like I'm doing pretty alright. I don't know. The last time, well, when I got my fastest time, it was like literally right after. I did a playthrough. A full playthrough, and then immediately after I finished that first one, I did a second playthrough immediately afterwards. Because I was like planning out, like, okay, this is just my test run, and then my actual run is gonna happen afterwards. So that's how I was able to get like four hours and nine minutes, because I just did it back to back playthroughs. So I knew exactly where everything was, and like mapped out where I was gonna go and which notes and jiggies I was going to go for first. I mean, I played this recently enough to where I know where everything's at. I just don't know the most optimal way to get everything in a... in a speedy manner, to say. So, I probably play this the same way every single time without realizing it. Please, Banjo, can you... Can you not... Banjo, thank you. <laughs> Having some difficulty there. Okay, uh... I'm going to do this one. I'm gonna be leaving that way because I believe this is the side with the... Nope, this was the side without the Jinjo. I'm gonna go back. Alright, so I'll be leaving out the exit with the Jinjo. Because, before that, uh, I need to hit this, uh, this flight pad. I gotta. I just gotta hit this flight pad. 
because I gotta fly over here and get myself the power of invis invis no invincibility. Not invisibility. Hey bottles. Give me the power to never die. At the cost of wings. Give me the strongest side B in all of Smash Bros. That might not be true, but it's definitely one of the strongest. Not many characters can uh, withstand it or break through it. There we go. Hey! What's this move called? The Wally Wing? The Wonder Wing. I think that's what this is called. I just call it invincibility. Power of the Wonder Wing. Let's do this. Alright, cool. So, all that's left. See, if I had entered through the top, I would have gotten the Grunty Switch. And, uh. Oh, hold on. I'm just gonna exit because I have to enter through the top anyway. Yeah, see, I should have just left through the side so I could have entered through the top of Clanker. So I would have jumped down, gotten the Grunty Switch, flown over, and then gotten the invincibility, come back, and grab the notes as I'm on the other side. And of course, I have to try to get on you as you're as you're going up, Clanker. Thank you. Open sesame. Oh, please. <laughs> I was like, don't make me fall to the other side. There we go. You know what, to be fair, I probably could have used the flight pad to fly... Oh, I'm not gonna get hit. Oh, I'm not gonna get hit. Nope, not gonna get hit. I totally didn't get hit. <laughs> Maybe I could have used the flight pad to fly up the, uh, the hole it was under. I probably could have flown upwards, but I just didn't know if the camera angle was going to be like that or not. Almost thinking I should have done a, uh, should have done uh, a, a, a playthrough before streaming so I don't look incompetent. Can I please get out of here? Thank you, Banjo. Get your face out of the corner. I very much appreciate that. Now all that's left is uh, riding the bolt up to the top, and hopefully, yep, yep, perfect timing. Impeccable timing. You spin my banjo around and around. Okay. Please don't fall off, banjo. Oh, the only times I ever walk as banjo is for, like, precision walking so I don't fall off the side. There we go. There we go. I just have to collect the stuff on the way back and I'm done. Hopefully my time wasn't too butchered for me forgetting what was on each side. I forgot two things. I was like, oh, I forgot the honeycomb piece was on this side. I thought it was on the other side. Oh, and I thought that the other honeycomb piece and the Jinjo vent were on the other side. There, oh, I got both sides wrong. And I also forgot which side the Jiggy was on, because I didn't really need that Mumbo token. Because you get a plethora of Mumbo tokens in this game, especially by the end of it. There we go. Hey, I got it. Give me that Jiggy. Boop. Boop. Oh, dude, I'm getting the timing down so perfectly. Oh, don't fall off, Banjo. Do not. Okay. I'm not. I am not <laughs> going back for that token. That is one thing I will not compromise, just going back for that one. Because that requires a bit of backtracking. Also, since I played this very recently, I have a decent memory on the Gruntilda questions at the end. 
So I'm gonna avoid Brentilda as much as possible because the first time you see her, she forces you to talk to her. She's like, hello there, I see you walking by. I'm just gonna start a conversation with you whether if you like it or not. Reminds me of the people in my work. There we go. As a kid, this was my favorite level. Because it's like a level where you get to be a crocodile, and there's like a big crocodile and a giant turtle. It was awesome. 